Hey everybody, so if you don't watch my main channel, my mommy channel, where I do a lot of pregnancy updates, you won't be aware that we are moving. And uh, today I'm filming is December the 3rd. I'm not sure when this video is gonna go up, but we're moving December 13th, which is just crazy. We bought a house, we're really excited about it. It's just really, really fast. So in that process, obviously I'm packing and every time I pack, I end up purging a lot of things. I'm not someone who hangs on to clutter. I love to get rid of things. And same goes with my makeup. So I went through my makeup and I was like, if I haven't used it in the past year, essentially since I last moved, because we did move a year ago, then I think I should get rid of it. Either it's too old or I'm just, I'm not using it. So I have a rather large bag here of stuff. It's crazy. So I'm gonna have to run through it really fast. Um, I decided I'm not doing a November favorites video, so if you're looking for that one, I'm not going to be doing a November beauty, beauty favorites. This will kind of be in its place, and then I'll have a really big, I'm sure, December favorites video. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on. If you want to see the stuff that I don't like, I'm not using, I'm throwing out, then keep watching this video. And I should mention, not all of it, actually the majority of it um, is empty. This is not an empties, this is separate from empties, this is stuff that is too old or I don't use. Okay, the first thing is a palette. I've had this palette for, I wanna say 10 years. Got Artistic Cosmetics. Something is falling out. That shows you how old it is. Yep, one of the pans is falling out. Probably one of the first palettes I got. Tons of different colors. Use, I've used it a lot. Um, it's just too old. It's just, you know, it's had its time. It was never a fantastic palette as it is. I think it was like a $20 palette at some trade show. It did okay. I like the Friday colors, but yeah, I have to make sure I don't talk too much about each product or we'll be here forever. <laughs> okay, the next is this CoverGirl palette in Urban Basics. So it looks like nothing wrong with it per se, just not super pigmented and I just don't use it at all. It's very shimmery, so I'm getting rid of that. I might ask people I know, by the way, some of these that have barely been used if they want them before I throw them out. I don't want to be a huge waster and just throw everything out, but yeah, this one I got in like the glossy box, I think, it's Essence. I just wouldn't use these eyeshadow colors. I haven't, I've had it for like two years and I don't use it. This one is a foundation, Instant Age Rewind. So you can see I got it for $2.49. And I did use it about halfway down and it has one of those big sponge tip applicators, but it's so old now and I don't use it and I like other things better. So I know it's just gonna sit there and I'm the type of person who doesn't want things to just sit there. So I'd rather get rid of it. This, I'm sad I did not put in my Hard Candy loves and hates video. I totally forgot I own this. This is called Light Bright by Hard Candy. It's a whipped brightening concealer. I had high, he high hopes for it. It's a click up pen, but um, it creases and patches and doesn't have a lot of coverage. It's awful. Don't buy it. All right, this is a Nivea Lip Butter in Vanilla and Macadamia. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it, but not all of it. Really, really nice scent. I just decided that I don't like sticking my finger in lip gloss. I have enough like lip glosses that I don't have to stick my finger in that that's just gonna sit there forever because I don't wanna stick my finger in lip gloss. This one I contemplated throwing out last time I moved. It's the Bobbi Brown Corrector. I used to use this all the time. It's pretty much gone. It's cracked around the edges. It's, it's just toast. I think I just loved it so much at the time that I had a really hard time getting rid of it and I like saved on to the last bit for like a special occasion, but I've had many special occasions and I don't use it. I need to get rid of it. Another concealer is the Essence Match to Cover. You know, this one's not a bad concealer. It's all right for a drugstore. Um, it's just a little bit too much on the creasy side for me. It's a little bit too greasy for me, but it does have really nice coverage and it is really cheap. I just don't use it because I, like I said, I have other things I like. These two are from, there's just two from Avon. They are cream eyeshadows. And unfortunately, they just suck, <laughs> to be blunt. They uh, look really pretty, but almost no pigment and they're super greasy and they crease. So what's the point in that? I wouldn't even use that as a base. That's a no. I found a random candle <laughs> in my, oh, it smells so good, Malibu smash in my makeup drawer. Don't know why. Don't need it. An eye cream. Nutriganics smoothing eye cream. I think there's a little bit left and I put it amongst my makeup stuff because I have really dry under eyes with the intention of using it before applying makeup. 
but I just haven't changed that habit. I always put on eye cream when I'm in the bathroom before doing makeup, so it just got old. It just needs to go. Another foundation, the Revlon Nearly Naked. I think this shade is vanilla. Um, it's not a terrible foundation, but it doesn't have huge coverage, and it just doesn't look the best sitting on my skin, so I was ready to get rid of it. A brush, a foundation brush by Real Techniques. Um, I had this sitting, sitting on its own. It's never been used, so I'll ask somebody if they want it. But I don't use foundation brushes to apply my makeup, and I, I don't really like that one even if I were to use a brush, so I don't want to hang on to it anymore. This one's from Bare Minerals. It's the color Light. It's a foundation powder. But look at the color. It's like dark and orange. It's not going to work on my skin, so there's no point hanging on to that. All right, so my memory card cut off, and I have no idea where it did, so if it was choppy right there, I apologize. Let's move on to some lip products. I have a gloss from NYC Big Bold. This was in an influencer box. It's just like a sheer pink gloss. I have many of them. I don't need that one. This one's the Rever the CoverGirl Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm. And I'm not a big fan of the CoverGirl one. I don't know why. I just don't use it. I don't think it's just the color. I just don't. This is the NYX Mega Shine Lip, Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Pink Frost. Again, something I've been holding on to for far too long that's just like this too much frosty pink. Like, it's almost silver on your lips. It's no good. Same with this guy here, the Revlon Color Burst Pink Ice. I've had this for a long time. Don't, don't, I don't want you guys to think I've bought all this in the past year because I definitely haven't. I just have accumulated things over years and hang on to things in the hopes that I'll use them. And I've just come to the conclusion that I don't, so I should get rid of it. This is a baby lips that I don't like the color of. I don't know which color it is, but it's the one that looks like that. It's too much shimmer for me. I like the base color of it, but too much shimmer. This is an Essence Stay With Me lip gloss. I think I have two in there yet. I did use them, but I have other ones I like better now. They are pretty colors, they're just, they don't last very long, so I don't gravitate towards them. This is a Revlon lipstick in um, pearl, luminous, luminous pink. That's what it looks like there. Tons left. It's just, can you see? It's got like the shimmer silver glitter in it. I don't know why I ever thought I would like that, but I don't. I don't wear it, so I don't want it. Um, a blush that's just too dark for me is the NYX Mosaic Power Powder in Paradise. As you can see, I swirl it up, try to see what the colors look like together, but it's just too dark on my skin, no matter what my skin tone is at the time. Two bronzers that just don't show up on my skin. There's this pixie one in Subtly Suntouched. A lot of these things I actually get from Ipsy or Glossy Box. This is an e.l.f. baked bronzer. They just don't show up like at all, or they have shimmer, so I don't like them. Like this one here, Mary Kay Bronzing Powder. It's just full of shimmer. I want to open it to show you. Really pretty base color, but I don't I don't like bronzy bronzy. I don't like shimmery bronzers bronzers, so I got rid of it. This wet and wild blush in Heather Silk. Super popular on YouTube, but too dark for my skin tone. In my opinion, I can't get away with it. A little sample guy of a blush bronzer from Coastal Scents. The bronzer doesn't show up and the blush is just too small to use with my brush, so I just I always use other things. We're getting there. This is an e.l.f. lipstick in Naturally Nymph. I wanted a nude lipstick, but this one's too nude. And it doesn't go on like evenly, so it looks like you're a little bit dead in my opinion. More concealer is the CoverGirl in Olay. I like this for a period of time. It's a stick, but it's pretty moisturizing for a stick foundation. But again, just found other things that I use more often. Elf Eyelid Primer. I think this one's almost done. But to be honest, I haven't used an eyeshadow primer in about a year, and I've just realized that my eyelids are not oily. I don't need eyeshadow primer. I can I can wear eyeshadow and put it on, and it will stick all day long. And you know what? A lot of the times I use bases anyways, and that's kind of the same thing. Oh, another Avon cream eyeshadow that sucked. It's a really happy video, isn't it? Um. 
has this e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer. Bad, just really bad. Makes you look worse than if you didn't use it at all, in my opinion. The lip gloss from Urban Decay. This came with the original Naked palette, which I've had for a very long time, so I'm embarrassed to say that I still own that lip gloss. This I got recently. It's Big, Big Look with Argon Oil Pure Waterproof Mascara in an Ipsy bag. Terrible mascara. It doesn't do anything. Awful, awful. And this is the Lash Accelerator from Rimmel. And honestly, I don't think it did much, but I, all, I, I didn't give it enough of a go as it is. It's supposed to help your lashes grow, but it's just not part of my routine to put that on beforehand. And I guess because I didn't have high hopes for it, I didn't take the effort to do it. So either way, I'm throwing it out. An HD High Definition Shadow Base from, I don't even know, I feel like this is NYX. Again, just old and I don't use eyeshadow base. Uh, the last few things are different pencils. This one just lost its lid. So we have one from Starlux. Um, I just don't like these. They're dry. I think there's more than one in here from Starlux. What's this one? Yeah, another Starlux one. I don't want dry eyeliner that like pulls across my eye. I'm just not into that. An Essence brown one. It's okay, but again, I have other brown ones. It takes forever for me to go through a pencil eyeliner because I usually use liquid. So I'm getting rid of it. A pop one. Um, I just don't use it. And it's dry. This is a lip liner from Annabelle. Probably had this for like 10 years too. I just never wear that color lip. So I don't need it. Plus it's really dry too. A Fabu liner from Jordana. I do like these. Uh, I think this one should have been in the empties though. It just dried out. And this one is Elite Intensity Waterproof Eyeliner. Another dry eyeliner. Well, most of these came in those subscription boxes. And the last couple things down here, I have a bunch of these little sample guys from Red Apple Lipstick, a gluten-free lipstick company. I have a bunch of their full-size lipsticks too and I love them. But the samples, they have stickers on the back so they've just been open for too long. Time to say goodbye to those. So that felt really good. Um, I don't know how long this video was, but if you're still with me, thanks for watching me throw it on my makeup. If you have any questions about any of it, let me know in a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.